of Philadelphia Eagles. Guys, yes! the Eagles were good for most of the year and then just absolutely collapsed at the end of the season. What happened? I don't, I don't even know. I like them them falling apart at the end of the season. That was just kind of like befuddles me. Um, they were so strong. Maybe that's what it was. They flew too close to the sun, like I said, all season, right? You know, they were too good. Same with the Dolphins. They're too good early on, and now look where they end up. I, I don't know. Eagles are still going to win this division. I think it's because they lost both their coordinators. Like, it doesn't I help. Think- I mean, like, look at their look at some of their picks. They got Johnny Wilson, right? They got Will Shipley, which is big, and Saquon Barkley to add to that. And then they got Jeremiah Trotter, who I was really yeah. happy to see him go somewhere worth a damn. They got Gardner Johnson back. And Cooper DeJean, the mustard man. Yeah. <laughs> My man, the mustard man. He's whole grain, baby. <laughs> Dude, they they committed highway robbery in the draft again with these. Yeah, steals. I mean, like it is crazy. Yeah, their defense is is already pretty damn good, you know. And much, and if Jalen Hurts doesn't work out, they can start grooming Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Not saying that I, he's I think better. they're pretty all in on Jalen Hurts, Come man. <laughs> Come on. He can't even hold his no, own. No. Dude. But they no, they not, didn't give up anything for that. pick. They didn't give yeah. up anything for Pickett. So like, Kenny Pickett was threatened by Russell Wilson. What's that say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, the defense actually is the big thing. Like, um, that that was it was probably the defensive coordinator, which is why it's probably a good thing that they made they changed out both coordinators again, but. I mean, it was crazy just, like, how their defense just out of nowhere couldn't stop anybody. Like, I like Vic Fangio, stop but, like, in the playoffs. wasn't Vic Fangio on the Dolphins, like, last year or two years ago? It was a few years ago. When did that the Dolphins have hard knocks? Recently, oh. right? Were, yeah, yeah, it was, was that, last year. Is that last in year when they – Last year. Yeah. Is it that, has it been that long since they shot themselves in the foot? And Yeah. Wow, it's about yeah, a long it. year. They kill uh, too. Uh, but the Dolphins defense hated Vic Fangio. Absolutely hated him. They stupid, were happy to see him. Does. So, like, I don't know if he's going to – like, he is a good mind, but I don't think he's going to really make a, a big, like, impact on this defense. I mean, I by default, I think he's better than the guy they had because – yeah, uh, their defense. I, is, I mean, they couldn't stop the Cardinals. They couldn't stop the Commanders. They couldn't stop anybody at the end of the year last year. That yeah. But I mean, they're moving in the right direction. I mean, they are the right direction. What do you mean? Like, yeah, they, 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 they Yeah, but they, they like the playoffs in a few years. <laughs> yeah, but they they lose people and they're able to get so equal that's... or better talent back in. So it's not yeah. like. Yeah. Like the Bengals, I feel like when they get talent, they lose talent. It, like the Eagles, at least, are able to remain consistent in that aspect. Yeah, I mean, I think the the Eagles, what they've replaced, what they've lost with a decent amount of quality, re, you know, recovery pieces. Um, the only hole I'm seeing is Jason Kelsey's hole, um, and I don't even know did it, did they get anybody to replace him or did they have someone? Cam they've Jurgens. been grooming. Yeah, they've been grooming someone for a couple of years. Yeah, I mean, it's yet to be seen, but that's pretty a lot of confidence to put him in a guy that hasn't done it yet. Yeah, and, I mean, basically their whole offense was built around running behind Jason Kelsey, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what the whole brotherly shove is about, right? They but now him. their center is smooth like Jergens lotion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was forced. <laughs> I don't know. Right, you're um, fine. But yeah, this is this is probably one of the top Super Bowl contenders, isn't it? Only because of the mustard man. I'm telling <laughs> you, Hines, whoever needs to, needs to get this man on contract. Yeah, for real. Dijon mustard recipe. Oh, and did we say <laughs> Quinion Mitchell? Not yet. No, um, great. Kind of a little bit. Like I kind of hinted at it, mentioning they made steals throughout the draft. Yeah, I think he deserves a shout out. Also, I think Dejon yeah. Mustard is going to move to safety, and I think Quinion Mitchell is going to be their stud at corner. Yeah, and then um, unless he just plays like a nickel position, yeah, he's going to be probably yeah, probably nickel. Yeah, 
Mustard Man, Nickel. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think yeah, they own his backup nickel behind Avante Maddox. And yeah. how much longer do they have him for? They drafted him in the fourth round, twenty eighteen. So coming up on it, his rookie contract being over. Uh, I think his rookie's contract is over. Uh, his contract is not on this website. So. I would have I would have to look that one up, but um, yeah. We Next, have on um, the, it's all in front of them. 